guys, welcome back to my subscriber battle series. I'm still trying out some 6v6 battles. I'm pretty pleased with the team I've been building at the moment. It's been it's been pretty mixed. It's won some and it's lost some, but overall it's been winning. Uh, today we're battling Fred, uh, who is Fred Ruga the One on Twitter. I'll post it somewhere if you'd find. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, you've probably seen me talking to him on there before. So I've never won against Fred until today. Um, this was such a victory for me. I was so proud. Uh, he leads with a fly gun, which is pretty unusual. I've never really seen one of those. And I went with my Talonflame. And I went with a, a Brave Bird because obviously I wanted the priority move and it does a lot of damage. Uh, I was pretty gutted because he managed to hang on. Um, and he, he wallops me with a Thunder Punch, but good old Talonflame managed to hang on with one HP. What a boss. Um, he then switches out and sends in his Azumarill. But during this turn, I didn't think he was going to switch out, so I managed to get a Roost on there. Um, I thought that that would be better for me as well because I could switch in a bit safer later on and then obviously I predicted he was going to aqua jet me in the face so I switched for my Obama Snow because I knew that he would be able to take the, uh, the aqua jet really easy um, because let's face it it's not going to do a lot so he then starts getting hit by the, the hail that I brought in so that's always good too and I Mega Evolve him and I go for a Giga Drain. Um, he uses Play Rough on me, I didn't expect him to stay in. Um, so I get him down to nearly like zero HP, but he hangs on, but I managed to heal myself with his HP. So he then gets hit, so he's on like the tiniest bit of HP and he goes and switches anyway. Um, only this time he goes with Manetric, um, and I knew this guy was going to be like uh, packing a flamethrower most likely or some kind of fire move. So after he took the hit that was meant for Zoomeril, uh, I switched out and went with Nido King because I knew he, he wasn't going to take too much damage from a fire move or an electric move, so he was my safest option. So I predicted correct and he went with a overheat um, so he gets pretty lucky and it, it does crit me and does a lot of damage takes me down to like 11 HP but then he drops his stats at the same time um, and I went for a sucker punch and on my next turn and I got hit by the hail so I was literally on like 2 HP um, and I got super lucky because even though the sucker punch missed because he switched out, the hail stopped so I didn't get killed by that. And I managed to pull off the sucker punch on his flygon and kill him. So I, I got pretty lucky with the hail ending there I think. Um, but then he goes for Lucario and I knew that he was gonna, he was gonna kill me. Um, anyway with the extreme speed so I wanted a free switch in uh, went with Talonflame and obviously he was gonna switch that because he wouldn't leave it out to get like flare blitzed and he goes with Landorus and I went with a Brave Bird because originally it was meant for Lucario but um, it goes on him and it does a reasonable about like bit of damage it, just above half so I used protect then because I kind of wanted to scout him out see see what he was going to use against me and he went with the uh, the rock slide so I went with a another brave bird because I wanted to get some more damage in there before he he knocked me out for good and I got all the way down to one HP again all the one HP hacks what is going on and he he knocks me out then with rock slide as we knew that was going to happen so i went with the zoomerel after that um 
and he went with a U-turn, I think he probably just wanted a safe switch, uh, what's doing a little bit of damage, and I wasn't too worried about Nandoris, so I, I felt this was like a pretty safe time for me to pop a belly drum. Uh, so I managed to get one of those in there safely as he switches in his Azumarill and uh, after the belly drum obviously I get healed by my citrus berry so I'm feeling pretty confident that I was going to kill his Azumarill and luckily I won the speed tie and I did get my aqua jet in before he could get his aqua jet in if that's what he was going to use. So then I had to face the Manetric again and I thought well rather than opening myself up for an attack and going for something that wasn't not very effective I'd go for an Aqua Jet because I'd rather get a bit of damage in there than get KO'd straight off the bat and luckily I took him out and Lucario comes back in and hits me with the Extreme Speed which is we knew it was going to happen and I went with Play Rough instead of Aqua Jet because I wanted to make sure that I did as much damage as I could and killed him. So then all I had to do was uh, get rid of the, the, the Landorus which hadn't got much HP anyway uh, and then I was in pretty safe ground because all he had left was a Scrafty. Um, so at this point I was feeling pretty confident that I was going to win and I pretty much just spammed Aqua Jet to make sure that he was KO'd. I got him down to a little bit of HP and he did manage to hit me with a Drain Punch but it didn't heal him too much and it didn't hurt me too badly that I was going to die in the next turn. So I just hit him with another Aqua Jet and I managed to kill him. So unfortunately Fred, the janitor, didn't get to clean up this time and you got aqua jetted in the face by the zooms. So good game, I'm actually pretty chuffed that I won for once, uh, we'll have to have a rematch sometime. If you want to battle me, hit me up, send me a comment, tweet me, whatever, catch you later.